Hello folks, once again Yadi Belly here with another creative way of using local ingredients to make very very good and nutritious dishes for your family. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a you know, mixed greens toss up I would call it with salted cod. Or if you want to talk like Jamaicans, you know, mixed greens with saltfish. And it's simply using dish, uh, vegetables that are found locally in your area and pairing it with one of the most versatile uh, ingredients that we as Jamaicans use, which is salted cod or saltfish, and making a dish from it. I'm going to do that today, so I hope you will join me. Right here I have um, organic kale. And this, uh, I received, I got this from a, a local um, grower. Uh, she, a lady in my neighborhood, she sells um, kale, organic kale, and she grows this on her farm. And I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, this is soft. It is very, very good. And I use this to juice with and as well as cook with and it's very nice as a raw salad but I'm gonna use it in my greens today. Uh, here we have some Kalaloo, Jamaican Kalaloo and uh, this is just what I had left from my previous video Kalaloo rice. You can check it out on YouTube. You can subscribe as well and you can also like my, my page at Yardy Belly in a foreign on Facebook. Uh, here I also have uh, one small head of cabbage and yeah I'm going to use cabbage because I, I personally love cabbage and cabbage is very good as well. I have a green pepper, I have some parsley, um, I have some um, scallion or green onions, I have one uh, small onion, I have a little bit of thyme and here I, I have my salted cod. Now this is codfish you know, in Jamaica we just call it saltfish, and I'm not, definitely not going to use um, a lot of it, but you can get this um, to buy in your local area, and this is what I'm going to use just to enhance the flavor a little bit, and then I also have my salt and pepper, I have a little bit of dill, and I have some garlic salt over there, and so, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get going. As I said, very, very quick, very, very simple. It in involves just getting this uh, fish in the pot with some water, and from there we'll take it to another level, all right? So come back. Here we have our codfish you know, boiling, and the reason why we boil this, and this is what Jamaicans do, other people do it differently, but the reason why we boil this for an extended period of time is one, to get the salt out, and two, to soften it. Now remember that salted cod is dehydrated, and so this is the process that, um, that I, I grew up knowing um, or seeing my parents do to remove the excess salt from the fish. You boil it, you change the, you, you throw that water off, then you, you know, repeat the process and you do that for maybe 20 minutes, you know, 30 minutes, and as again, you can check your water, um, you know, for salt content, and, you know, from there, it, it, you, you do it to your taste. So, I'm boiling my codfish, then I will cut my vegetables up, and then we get into the actual cooking. So, here we have, ladies and gentlemen, our ingredients all prepped and ready. I've washed and cut up my, my kale, cut up my red, my green pepper, sorry, uh, my cabbage is all um, cut, my kalalo was, was cut before as you know, my parsley is ready, I have onions here, green peppers here, my codfish has been washed, um, blanched, washed and I've, you know, just basically um, broken it up into pieces and I uh, found this piece of red um, onion that I had so um, I also used it. I'm using olive oil as my oil um, today and so we're pretty much ready to go. As I said before, this is my mixed greens toss up or saute in which one you want to use but I Normally, I would say mixed greens with sausage if I was in Jamaica. But this is a very, very nice breakfast idea, so let's get going. Our skillet ready. 
and I've gone ahead and I've added some olive oil. I maybe have added maybe four tablespoons. I'm using a little bit extra oil than normal because my codfish, I know, um, it does absorb a, a, a bit much of the oil, especially the the ones that the the, the kind that I'm using. So. I'm going to add my codfish and I, I took the liberty of adding a little bit of um a little bit of garlic to to the to the the codfish um it's not absolutely necessary but I just like the way how garlic smells when it's burning and as you can see my codfish is very very minimal amount because again the salt content you know and stuff overall I just using the codfish to flavor my greens so I'm just basically adding it and allowing it to be the flavor agent for my oils uh, then the next thing that I'm gonna do as soon as this comes up to um, to heat I will add the remaining ingredients and I will show you shortly my codfish is now um, quickly being sauteed and I'm telling you ladies and gentlemen the aroma in here is crazy and it's good all right I'm gonna add my onions in and as I said before you know there is no real order in which you do this you just do it based on the the, the way in which you want your, your vegetables to be cooked so I'm just adding my onions I'm gonna add, add um, half of the the red onions because they become a little bit translucent the longer that they the longer they are cooking and I want to use some, you know, in the garnishing process. I'm going to also add my thyme. And as you can see, I'm, I'm holding my camera. So I'm using one hand to cook today. All right, because, yeah, I'm doing this all solo today without the wifey. So, yeah, the ingredients is going on very, very nicely. I'm telling you, folks, I can smell it. And this um, idea is normally... A very good breakfast idea very very good breakfast idea all right so trust me ladies and gentlemen you will see as we continue with our dish the effect that this um, this little piece of codfish will have on the overall uh, dish is awesome all right adding more ingredients as I allow it to cook I wait uh, maybe another three minutes or three, maybe not so much you know one minute and a half for the onions to become a little bit more translucent then I'm gonna add my escalion then I'm gonna add um, you know some more of the greens and then we start building from there generally you want to get the you know onions in and all the those herbs in before you start to add your greens all right okay I've added some black pepper and as you can see there and there and there a little bit of um, Jamaican scotch bonnet pepper um, I added that that uh, add that also added also to the pot and so now we're ready to add some of our herbs I'm gonna start my first herb that I'm gonna well not herb sorry um, greens that I'm gonna start with is the callaloo and why I'm gonna use the callaloo first because the the callaloo takes a little bit longer to cook folks all right so I'm gonna start with the callaloo first and then you know we build up from there all right as I said before there's no real wrong way to do this you're just gonna do this as quickly as you can um, to get this dish you know done and I, I'm telling you folks this just smells so good sorry for the, 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 the quality of the video as I said I'm doing a one hand work today so my video is going to be a little bit shaky but bear with me and we'll get it done alright so my callaloo is sauteing very nicely and at this time it is almost you know like shocking color green it is so pretty and it smells so good and this is at this time that I'm gonna add my cabbage now the, as I said before the reason I put my callaloo in first is because it's probably the hardest to cook and so I want to make sure that everything um, cooks evenly now I'm gonna add my cabbage in yeah and the cabbage as soon as the cabbage is wilted folks your dish is practically finished 
you know i'm the type of guy who i like my vegetables to be crunchy i don't like when them cook out to almost nothing so i try to get my stuff in as soon as possible yeah excuse the pink ball is my ball and it pink whatever yeah so i'm just gonna add this and as soon as my cabbage is wilted i add more ingredients i'm gonna add the um the, the ingredients that are here the parsley the green onion and final the final ingredient will be my kale and my green peppers all right so doing it little by little as we move along you know bear with me once again you know one hand can clap but one hand can cook all right so we're getting it done all right and i know you're gonna enjoy this one especially if you have some um fried johnny cake to go with this or you know yeah you can eat it with bread you know but normally this is would this would be a beautiful breakfast idea yeah, for us as our jamaican style you know but from the regular cabbage and saltfish i thought that i would just um raise it up a notch by doing a mixed greens and as i said you see oh, i use the selfish sparingly yeah because really and truly the only thing selfish has is sodium you know the mere fact that it's being dried it removes most of the essential um, minerals from it so it's just a flavoring agent for us in jamaica so bear with us all right i'm gonna get um tripod and all them other stuff but until that time come we use one hand and we'll cook the food and one hand will video the food all right so looking nice looking good again giving it more a little more time and then we will add the rest of ingredients okay my kale is in and um, i'm telling you trust me folks you will you will really and truly enjoy this one i feel like turning the stove off right now because you know kale can be eaten raw so to have this crunchy nice beautiful green kale on top i really don't even want it to wilt too much so again just gonna garnish it with a little bit of parsley add my the remainder of my um purple onion and the as a matter of fact i'm gonna add in my green peppers right now and yeah maybe i'll put a little bit of butter um not much because i don't really like the butter thing anymore but just so you know these are little um i'm gonna do that and then i'll show you the finish here i have my finished dish ladies and gentlemen my mixed greens toss up with codfish or saltfish and mixed greens for those jamaicans who know what i'm talking about I presented the plate with a little bit of brown bread yeah just butter two slices of bread and put it on the plate just to show you you know how you can present it but you can have this with Johnny cakes with fritters with boiled foods you know whatever you want to eat it with you can have it with it and it makes a great side dish a great um, you know accompaniment to any main meal you know I did not allow my vegetables to wilt too long and to stay too long in the pot and trust me i am totally totally salivating here i can't wait to get into this one yeah so when the wifey and the little boy get ready i will make sure to serve their plate and we will have a wonderful breakfast hey maybe you could try this in your neighborhood in your region wherever you are watching this whatever greens you find in your local area Use it, mix it together, put some codfish in there, and I'm certain you will like this too. Once again, Yardy Belly dropping another video on you. Hey, so the thing's setting up for him. We'll turn with hand and we'll make fashion. Bless up.